Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, my name is Anna, and today we will be talking about my 2025 releases. Let's get going. It's finally nice, so it's, the snow is starting to melt, and then my dad, and he said that it's going to snow tomorrow. Don't parents know how to make you feel great? Yay! But anyway, so let's get going to my 2025 releases. So my first book will be The Scorpion Queen by Nina Fears. It just says it's coming out on March 4th in 2025. And that's all that we have. So no summary, no nothing. Uh, my next one is The Floating World by Axie Orr. It will come out on January 1st. And this is where... And it's a YA fantasy duology inspired by celestial maidens from Korean myth and pitched as Final Fantasy meets Castle in the Sky. An amnesia sword for hire and a theater troop performer with mysterious powers discovered that their destinies will change the fate of multiple worlds. That sounds fantastic and I love Final Fantasy, so let's go. <laughs> if you're interested, Cloud is my favorite character, so yeah. My next book will come out on January 1st and is called Fire to the Stars by Morgan J. Watchhorn. In the kingdom of Florent, anyone can succumb to an ignition, a monthly solar event where the sun god's magic turns an unlucky human into a vicious dragon. Heartened by his failures to find a cure for his little brother, Abel Estelio knows firsthand that slayer families are just as vulnerable to the curse. The only relic from his previous life is an incomplete research journal, with his name now synonymous with disaster. Abel is broke and desperate for war. When gossip of the journal reaches Claire Belgrand, she abandons her sisterhood of thieves to find him. A slayer who tried to save a dragon, Blasphemous, his, but his taboo is a hope she can't ignore. She believes Abel's research is the only chance to cure her curse and end her reliance on a life of crime. The problem is, he is hunting again, so she feeds him a false lead on a dragon to test whether she can trust him with her secret, or whether she must turn to the crime she dreads most, murder, to steal the journal, and hope the contents were enough to save herself. That sounds so cool. My next book, which is expected to come on January 1st, is A Mastery of Monsters by Lisa Assembly. I believe she's the author of Blood Like Magic. Yep, Blood Like Magic. So this is a dark academia YA fantasy in which a girl must join a secret society that may be responsible for the disappearance of her brother. To infiltrate the ranks, she agrees to team up with a boy who is only months away from becoming a flesh-eating monster. In exchange, she has to win a daily competition to master control of his monstrosity. So that sounds really interesting. And my next book is from none other than Art of Kwong, and it's called Catabasis. It's expected to come out on January 1st, but apparently um, Catabasis in Greek, it means to descend into the underworld narrative, and it's about two, two PhD students who are magician, magicians to travel to help to rescue the soul of their, their advisor, who died in a fake magic accident, so that he could come back to life and write the recommendation letters and become not just magicians, but tenure track magicians. And it's also a love story because they start off as rivals and they end up falling in love. So that sounds fantastic. I have not read anything from Art of Kwong in a while. So I don't know. Like I just refuse to, to read Yellow Face for whatever reason. But the cannabis sounds really nice, so I'm excited for it. My next book that is expected to come on January 23, 23rd, and it's Shanghai Immortals number no. two and it's called Paris Celestial. All aboard the Immortal Express. Lady Jane is off to Paris where she will find an encounter romance, danger, and vampires in the sequel to the Shanghai Immortal. Now a minister of hell, Lady Jane is a mind numbingly bored. All she wants is plain talk and time with her beau, Tony Lee, who has been distracted with mortal matters of late impending war is such a drag. But then Angus is a visiting Celtic de deity turns a bonus and drain of Yin Kui, the only way to help him to return him to his pantheon's healer. 
investment in parents ready for a new adventure, Jane immediately volunteers for the task. I have not yet read Shanghai Immortal, but I should. Now, my next book is the number two to gaze upon a wicked gods. It is called To Kill a Monstrous Prince by Molly Akshong. It's expected to come on January 1st, and that is all that we have. My next book is Cleopatra by Sarah L. Alfredi. It's supposed to be come out on January 1st, and this is Cleopatra where we tell the story of Egypt's most famous queen. It opens at the moment she discovers that her father has died and she is pale. That sounds exciting. I love reading anything about Egypt, so yeah, it'll be really cool. Also, fun fact, I might, might be going to Egypt for next year. I am ready. I'm gonna see all the temples and the pyramids and the Sphinx. Of course, I'm going with my friends, but I might be going to Egypt next year, so that will be really cool. But anyways, my next book is Warrior Princess Assassin by Bridget Camera. It's supposed to come on January 1st. And this is a trilogy that follows three characters, a princess with a secret, the handsome warrior king with fire and magic she must marry for a political alliance, and the assassin who has been tasked with killing them both. The assassin, however, is the princess's first love. That's going to be complicated right off the bat. <laughs> this is the sequel to Blood and Tea number two. I believe the first one is Tempest Tea by Hafsha Fazil. It was supposed to come on January 1st, and that's all that we have. My next book is The Labyrinth of Swords by Leslie Vendor. The Nightmare Before Christmas meets a magic school in this middle grade adventure full of fun friendship, fun family, and the dark and charming world of the Nightmare Christmas. Honestly, I feel kind of weird reading about that middle grade. I don't know, I just feel weird reading it, but if you're interested, that is what's coming out next year. And my next book is Girls of Dark Divine by E.V. Woods. And this is a trope of hauntingly beautiful girls who have been cursed to perform like marionettes until they turn to dust. But one of them will go to an any length to save them from this violent dance. And it's supposed to come on January 1st. Is that supposed to be like the Pearl of Dancing Princesses? It kind of reminds me of that. And my next book is the sequel to The Floating World by Axie R. It's supposed to come on January 1st and that's all that we have. I know, not much information on these guys. It's way, obviously it's way too early, but... It will eventually come, so just keep on checking it as time comes. <laughs> and my next book is a duology, which is called Immortal Consequences by Ivy Muddy. It's supposed to come in the summer of 2025. This is a multi part YA dark fantasy in which six teens caught between life and death at the enigmatic Black Water Academy must complete for the chance to make a once in eternity choice. Cross over to the other side, or I said, and remain a black word forever. But sinister forces are playing the game too. That sounds really cool. So those are all the books for my 2025. Uh, it's kind of short. I only have up to 14 books, but obviously it's gonna keep on piling up. Yeah. So anyway, let me know what you're excited for 2025, and please like, comment, and subscribe. So you'll be notified every time I post, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!